During this entire process of changes, probably no one in Taiwanese Buddhist circles has ever done things in this way. Dharma Drum Mountain never forgets its original lineage, for it is primarily a Guanyin practice center. As a sculptor of Buddha statues, I feel most gratified to be able to carve a Buddha statue so magnificent that it can evoke reverence in all who see it. While sitting here in meditation, when we accidentally raise our heads or open our eyes, we realize that the Buddha is actually right before us. I have always felt that carving a Buddha statue is a spiritual practice I must excel in. It's a challenge too. Buddhism was founded by Shakyamuni Buddha around 500 BC. He taught people to awaken from delusion by applying reason, transcending worldly suffering and happiness, attaining purification of the mind and social stability. Over more than 2,000 years, Buddhist philosophy and methods of practice have spread from India all over Asia and then to Europe and America. All Buddhist temples enshrine Buddhist statues. However, instead of treating them as idols for worship, Buddhists regard them as tools for spiritual practice, to remind themselves to emulate the Buddha. Buddhist statues serve as objects of reverence, through which we evoke our innate Buddha nature, as well as our faith in Buddha Dharma and compassion in spreading it. There are many different styles of Buddha statues, each unique according to the time and culture. They have become a symbol of human spiritual civilization. Dharma Drum Mountain is a Guanyin practice center, not only because the widespread faith in Guanyin Bodhisattva, but also because our founder, Master Shen Yen, has practiced and taught the methods of Guanyin all his life. The acquisition of the land and the construction of the complex were made possible with the Bodhisattva's aid and support. Guanyin Bodhisattva statues, therefore, represent a significant spiritual symbol for the mountain complex. Long-term preservation thus became the first priority in making all the Buddha statues for the complex. Dharma Drum Mountain is meant to be a Dharma center for more than a thousand years. So we only considered materials that will endure that long. At that time we were considering many other kinds, but in the end we decided on copper to make statues at the mountain. The consecration of the welcoming Guanyin statue symbolizes that Dharma Drum Mountain will uphold the Bodhisattva's spirit, a thousand arms to protect, a thousand eyes to perceive. May all who come here to practice leave suffering behind and gain happiness. Located at the start of the footpath, next to the Dharma Wheel Bridge, the statue looks as if it is descending from the heavens on a lotus seat. Viewed from the slope, the facial expression looks natural and lifelike. In order to vividly convey the welcoming gesture, the posture was designed differently from most Guanyin statues. It is dynamic, one foot stepping forward, standing at the very front of the complex, as if walking into the crowd and welcoming people from worldwide to this pure land, Dharma Drum Mountain. The Bodhisattva's robes are flowing, flowing elegantly in the breeze. The necklace includes a string of prayer beads, and a more sophisticated decorative chain below with a triangular pattern, echoing the design of the crown. This is an exquisite design imbued with modern ideas. In the Grand Buddha Hall, three Buddha statues with identical faces radiate magnificence. On both sides are the thousand Buddha niches enshrined with statuettes of the same three Buddhas, creating an artistic and distinctive feature. In the design phase, we had been pondering what the Buddha faces should look like. 
One day, I got a phone call from the master. He said to me, Toward the end of 2002, we returned the stone head of the Akshobhya Buddha statue to Shandong. The stone head beams with Dharma joy, closely representing the temperament of Dharma Drum Mountain. Why don't we adopt its facial representation for the Buddha statues in our Grand Buddha Hall? We were enlightened by the Venerable Master's words and were joyful that our hardest problem was solved. The Buddha statues feature a round and full face. The downcast eyes symbolize precepts. The lines are simple. The steadiness in the sitting lotus position and the hand gesture of meditation represent concentration, while the halo in the background signifies wisdom. The boat-shaped halo follows a Chinese design dating back to the 5th to 7th century AD. The splendid curving plant motifs echo the bass relief on the margins of the pedestals and are called the honeysuckle pattern. Buddhist mudras represent the vows and powers of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. One can identify a Buddha's epithet by the mudra of a Buddha statue. In the center is Shakyamuni Buddha in a Dharma teaching mudra representing the Buddha teaching the Dharma. To the right is the Medicine Buddha in a wish-granting mudra, representing the Buddha's compassion in answering all prayers. On the left is Amitabha Buddha, with the right palm on the left forming the meditation mudra, symbolizing contemplation of all phenomena in the universe. Each of the panels of the pedestal is decorated with rich bass relief of local native plants and animals. In the front center is an engraved Dharma wheel, symbolizing that as the Buddha is teaching the Dharma, sentient beings live together peacefully, jointly and equally listening to, upholding, and spreading the Dharma. The master wanted the statues to reflect the local spirit, so the features of our pedestals are truly original works of art. Inside the statues, there are 77 volumes of the Mahayana Sutras, transcribed by renowned calligraphers and devotees. Six meters beneath the statues, an underground palace houses Buddhist artifacts to preserve contemporary Buddhist culture in Taiwan, representing Dharma Drum Mountain's mission in continuing Buddhism. Outdoors, a stone medicine Buddha statue stands in a prominent position. His epithet suggests the cure to sentient beings' greed, hatred, and delusion. Medicine Buddha made 12 grand vows to eliminate sentient beings' illness and suffering, granting them physical and mental happiness. Therefore, around the statue, a medicinal herb garden was made to grow a variety of medicinal herbs. The statue was carved from granite in the Yungang stone cave style of the North Wei dynasty, featuring a full and square face large ears touching the shoulders, and a broad chest. Sitting in the lotus posture between a bamboo grove and a creek, the statue radiates ease and composure. Stepping into the wish-fulfilling Guanyin Hall, the smiling wish-fulfilling Guanyin comes into sight. The left hand holds a vase, and the gesture of the right hand signifies teaching the Dharma, while the head is tilted slightly representing the perception of the suffering of all beings. Through the Dharma water of Guanyin Bodhisattva, the distress and afflictions of sentient beings are purified. This is the compassionate power of wish-fulfilling Guanyin. The wish-fulfilling Guanyin statue was made based on the description in the Avatamsaka Sutra. It features a tall, three-layered topknot, elegant countenance with long, fine eyes and eyebrows, a simple necklace, a skirt-like lower robe tied at the waist and a ribbon hanging on both arms. 
The lines are vivid and lifelike. The eyes are downcast, looking inward as if in contemplation, reminding the visitors that they should use their wisdom within, the wisdom of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, to solve their afflictions and problems. A cascade of water flows behind the statue, and there is a crystal clear pool in the courtyard of the Guanyin Hall. Both designs were created by application of modern-day technology. The Bodhisattva listens to all sentient beings' wishes and relieves suffering in the world. His expression, however, shows peace and ease. The wish-fulfilling Guanyin is in the Tang and Song Dynasty style, while the founding Guanyin follows the style of the Ming and Qing dynasties. The founding Guanyin is placed at the highest, also the central point of the complex. This Guanyin statue was originally made of fiberglass and housed in the Guanyin Hall of the complex in 1987. In 1989, Master Shen Yan acquired the land and established Dharma Drum Mountain, fulfilling his longtime wish to find a permanent site for this Dharma center. The statue, therefore, witnesses the hardship in founding and constructing the mountain. In 2004, a bronze copy was made to ensure its permanent existence. The Guanyin statue sits at the center of a lotus-shaped area. The layout of the surrounding platform resembles the lotus petals. The statue is in the traditional style, following the features of the Ming-Qing period. It wears a Buddha crown, a hood covering both shoulders, and an ornamental necklace. The sleeves and the lower robe show thick folds. The hand holds a willow twig and sprinkles ambrosia, symbolizing his constant compassionate vows to guard Dharma Drum Mountain and all the believers. The Chan Hall is open only for group meditation sessions. The Shakyamuni Buddha statue inside was crafted from Burmese white jade. To start with, sculptor Lin Songhui spent six years selecting the stone in Burma, staying in the Burmese mountains to cut the rough block. It was a strenuous and taxing process. Halfway through the work, Mr. Lin passed away. The carving was then continued and completed by sculptors Deng Shanqi, Wei Yongxian, and Xiang Guanghua. Working as a team, I felt that the consensus we built and the aspiration we made had overridden all the technical conditions. There's a most distinctive character to this piece of Burmese jade. It glistens. While carving the stone, we kept the rough surface finish on some areas because a rough finish can display the characteristics of the stone. When the lights are on, the bright spots on the surface glisten and thereby give this Buddha statue a more dreamlike taste and feel. This Buddha statue, made from spotless white jade, sits in an upright posture. The right hand forms the Dharma teaching mudra and the left hand, the meditation mudra. The halo is carved with a lotus flower, symbolizing luminosity and wisdom. The simple lines of the body fit in the wooden interior design and natural light, silently conveying the modest Chan spirit and resembling the Buddha's compassion, wisdom and serenity purifying each meditator's mind. Faced with any Buddha statue I am working on, I always hope I can represent it in a most genuine way, in the most serene and simple way. I feel that Dharma Drum Mountain treats the carving of the Buddha statues as a way of presenting and teaching the Dharma. Guanyin Bodhisattva, Namo Buddha, having the affinity and a connection with Buddhas. Whether we are supporting or participating in the process of carving Buddha statues, we are making a connection with Dharma, evoking the joy of permanence, bliss, 
true self and purity. Where is purity in this worldly turmoil? Dharma Drum Mountain for your spirituality. Where can we go to practice on holidays? Dharma Drum Mountain in homage to Guanyin. Once we enter a Dharma center and reverently recite a Buddha's name, with this single thought, we are together with Buddhas, enjoying ourselves in the Buddha land.